consider two open economies with fixed exchange rate equal to one. And there are two countries, one and two. This is the form of the consumption function which is given to you, right? Ci means, I mean, when i is one, so C1 is C01 plus C11 into Y1 minus T1. That is a disposable income. This is what your uh, import function is. M0i. So it is M01 plus M11Y1. For M2, it is M02 plus M12Y2 and so on and so forth. You're also given with these parameter values. right? You're also given with these parameter values. You have to tell whether it is true that country one has higher income than two and country one runs a trade surplus. So pause the video. Try to do it yourself first. So the moment you say this, that the, uh, these are the two open economies, right? So it means that uh, the export of country one is equal to import of country two. Also, export of country two is equal to import of country one. This has to be true, right? So M2 is M02 plus M12 Y2, right? So it is, what is the value for M02? 40. What is the value for M12? 0 0.3 Y2. Huh? So because M2 is equal to X1, so X1 is 40 plus 0.3 Y2. You with me? Huh? M1, you already know. What is that? M01 plus M11 Y1. That comes out to be 40 plus 0 0.05 Y1. Mm -hmm. And here also, <clears throat> you've already found this out. So X2 is nothing but M1. So export of country two is nothing but the import of country one. Hmm? And import of country two is what? You just have to plug in the values. Right. Now it is easy. The moment you have these values with you, now it becomes a little easy. So you can write what is the IS curve. country one that is going to be equal to y is equal to c plus i plus g now i'm just plugging the values in place of c i'm writing that uh, consumption function right so it is going to be that was what c01 01 c01 was 200 plus c11 c11 was 0.5 into y1 minus t1 Capital T1. Capital T1 is small T1 into Y1. Small T1 is how much? 0 0.4. Hmm? Plus I1. I1 is what? 250. Plus G1. G1 is what? 114. G1 is what? 114. Yeah. <clears throat> Plus Export minus import for country one. This should be Y1. Export minus import for country one. What is export of country one? This is 40 plus 0.3 by 2. Minus import of country one. What was that? Have it up. Now, after a little bit of algebra, you should be getting this guy. 564. This 0.3Y2. So I missed out two steps out here. I'm sure that you guys can just open this up, take the like terms together.
I S curve for country two. Right, that will also be y equals to c plus i plus g. So that will be y2 equals to c2. That is c2 is what? c02 plus c12 into y2 minus t2. Huh? So what is c02? 200. What is c12 or 0.5 into y2 minus t2? Capital T2 is? small t2 into y2. What is that? Investment is same as in country one. Government expenditure is more 120 plus. Right. Okay. What is the export of country two? <clears throat> export of country two is nothing but the import of country one, which is what? 40 plus 0 0.05 y1. Minus. Im minus import of country 2 is how much? 40 plus 0.3 y2. And uh, after a little algebra, you should be getting this guy. Mm -hmm. Now, what I can do is, what I can do is, this is my equation one, this is my equation two. I can substitute two in one. So that thing is going to give me, okay, I'm going to like this, zero point seven five y one. 564.3 in place of y2, I can write 570 plus 0.05 by 1, like this. Mm -hmm. And again, after solving this up, I'll be getting y1 equals to 1000. The moment I know what y1 is, I can find out y2. What is that? 570 plus 0 0.05 y1. So this thing comes out to be 620. So you can easily see that the income of country 1 is more than income of country 2. One thing you know. <clears throat> income of country 1 is more than income of country 2. That thing you know already. Now, okay. What about the trade surplus part? What is x2 minus n2? Although they have not asked you about the trade deficit and trade surplus in country 2. Let me just write this out. x2 minus m2 is what? 40 plus 0 0.05 y1. That was x2 minus 40 plus 0.5. 3y2. So, uh, so that thing is going to be 0 0.05. In place of y1, I can write 1000. In place of y2, I can write 620. And once you solve this, you will be getting 136. <clears throat> which is less than zero. So one thing you can write is that, yes, there is a trade deficit. In country two. No. What about uh, the net exports in country one? What is X one? Is 40 plus 0.3 by 2. But we have already done this. Don't be confused. Huh? We have already calculated this x1 and m1. Minus. By 1. Right.
Okay, so y2, you guys can write 620. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, this thing you can write how much? Minus. T minus zero point zero five thousand. So once you solve this, you'll be getting one thirty six, which is greater than zero. So yes, there is a trade surplus. In country one, the trade deficit in country two. There's a trade surplus in country one. So your question was, is it true that the country one has the higher income than two? Yes, it is. And country one runs a trade surplus. Yes, it is. Right. So I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Peter.